people all around the world like to drink. Here's two of them. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Guys, One Desk. So, we did a little bit of research on drinking games, and we're going to be playing some uh, some drinking games from Asia today. So it should be should be pretty exciting. These are games that neither of us have played. That's right. So, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I get to teach you all about them today. I get a lot. I get to learn. Yeah, we are going to have to improvise just a little bit to make it make it more fun for the camera, but we'll explain the basic rules. First off, we've got a Japanese beer here today, Kirin Ichiban. Which is a hundred percent malt, right? Yeah, I think so. So this will be this will be something that quite a bit different from our last few. Oh yeah. Nice and golden color. As malts do. It does look really pretty in the light. It does. Looks like you just piss right in there. Mmm. Does it taste like it too? Very refreshing. Very refreshing. It's refreshing, PB. I mean, Bear Grylls knows a thing or two. Yeah. <laughs> he knows a thing or two. In all seriousness, though, it's it's good. It's good. It is good. Yeah, especially for malt. All right. So, we've got, along with our beer today, we've got some sake. We're going to be drinking sake. And, uh, yeah, I guess we should go ahead and start with our first game. And the first one is a game from Japan that we're going to be playing called uh, the Chrysanthemum Flower, I believe. That sounds about right. And uh, basically how it's actually played is we're going to use some cups that are a little bit bigger. But it's going to be like the ex exact same, you know, style. Right, yeah. But if we use little itty-bitty cups, it's not going to, you're not going to see it as well. So, we got we got our huge cups here. A little more camera friendly. That's right. And we've got our, our flower, which is actually a ping pong ball in this case. <laughs> so, what the first player does is he hides the ball All right. under one of the cups. All right. right. Yeah. And then the next player has to pick a cup. And flip it over. Okay, okay. And then um, you're supposed to rotate, but since there's only two of us, I thought we could go back and forth like a uh, round for me and a round for you. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds so good. How it works is you flip a cup over, and then the other player is supposed to flip a cup over. Okay. Because this would be played generally with three or more people. Yeah. And then uh, if it gets back to the person that put the, like, hid the flower under the cup, They'd flip it over, and they'd have to fill each cup and drink. <laughs> so they'd have to drink all the cups. Okay, okay. Likewise, if you were to pick the one with the flower on the first go, that's the cup you got to drink. That's the you cup don't you have drink. to drink the other two. Okay, okay. Um, if you flip this one and then find the flower, that's two cups you got to drink. Two cups, okay. But if you flip both empties, I have to drink all three. All that's three. That's how it's going to happen. All right. All right, so let me... Uh, that's the name of the game. Yeah, so let me let me let me hide this bad boy real quick. All right, I'm gonna look away. We Go good? We good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Go ahead and have have your pick. Um, I always I'm always tempted to pick pick with my right, but I think on instinct I'm gonna go with my left. You're gonna go with the left. Flip that bad boy over. It's empty. <laughs> it's an empty cup right there. All right. Well, maybe I should have gone with my original choice, which would be the right. There it is. So you found you found the flower. I so found that's, it. That's two drinks. Obviously, we're not gonna fill these cups up. This we've got a the, we've got a shot glass that big, he's gonna this fill. Some big boys. So you fill that shot glass. And we're gonna do a shot glass sake. twice. Yep. All right. It's been a while since I've had sake, so yeah, I'm excited about it. Haven't had this one in particular. I like it. It's pretty decent. Um, I do prefer the chilled over hot. See, I, I actually do prefer the hot sake, but I'll do either way. That is good. That's one more cup for you, buddy. It's kind of... Uh, 
it's hard to describe the taste. It's a little sweet. Um, but it's sake is what a rice rice wine wine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting. They they all kind of taste so different, but since it's been so long since I've had yeah, it, and I mean, there's not a very very good selection of sake around here. <laughs> Definitely um, not. I tried to go with one of the I don't know like the higher ones, the mm-hmm. more expensive ones, because I've had some cheap bottles and they are pretty awful. And I do like the uh, the, the uh, plum wines. Plum wines really good. those are really I good. do love me some plum wine. All right, here we so, go. You get to hide hide the flower. All right. The the flower, the chrysanthemum flower. Here, our, our, our beautiful chrysanthemum flower. Yeah, I'll I'll look away so I don't know which cup it's under. I don't even think he's gonna know which cup it's under. All right. Okay. Are we ready? We are ready. I'm gonna go with the middle. That's yeah. always my instinct. That's the one to go to. Nope. Not this time. Not this time. All right. If I pick, if I pick correctly, you have to drink three. Correct. That so, is correct. What are we feeling? Yeah, fifty, fifty percent. Oh, oh I should have gone with my initial instincts. And I'm, I'm a lucky boy. I'm a lucky boy. Little, little Jimmy is gonna take. So two. that's two for me. Two for me. But hey, we've we've consumed much worse on on the show. That's very true. So this is I, I this is a treat. Yeah, I like drinking over eating the nasty, <laughs> shit, especially in the last episode with the dark treats. Yeah, then then we're some very unpleasant treats. Mm. I like it's that. Actually, though. really it's pleasant. Good. It's good. All right, a little refreshing. I like I like the coldness of it too. Just the chill. Bottoms up. Time for game number two. Now, this game is not from Japan. This game is from Korea, and it's called Titanic. Love it. You like it already? My favorite movie. All right, so <laughs> uh, let me just go ahead and take because you're gonna need you're gonna need to take that cap off. Oh boy, here we go. We're not drinking out of the bottle. Just okay. I was like, good right, lord. We've got a third beer, <laughs> and I'm gonna fill fill her up. All right. Okay. Let me see if I can I can balance this in here. That sink in the the bathroom. Oh, interesting. There we go. All okay, right. So it's floating. Yep. So the name of the game is you can pour as much sake as you want or as little sake as you want into into the glass here. Let me move it over so you can see a little all bit. All right, all right. And the the objective is to pour it in and not sink it. But it, you want to get as much as you can. Because if you, the more you get in there, the harder it's going to be for the other player to pour it in. Oh, so you just keep adding it back and forth until it sinks. And the person that sinks has to drink the cup. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Ooh, wee. I guess, uh, I guess I'll go first here. Be careful now. I wouldn't. I... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a dangerous game, my friend. Oh, man. This is like doing surgery. Ooh, Ooh, scary! A big pour. It's scary, isn't it? Oh man! It just—you just watch it dip a little bit, and it makes you, it makes you Ooh. gasp almost. Oh, now don't miss the cup. Now that's gonna be bad news for everybody. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I like this game already. <laughs> it's like it's kind of like Operation. <laughs> My God! Don't touch the edges. Oh, got a bubble. That was what the hell. Woo. Oh, oh man! All right. <laughs> I like how our ha- our hands are just sh- just shaking because we're like, there's too much on the line here. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that I thought that bubble there's there's like a just a carbonation bubble that popped right under it. I thought it was gonna tilt it. Oh my god! It's so close, dude, to sinking. Oh man. Oh man. Oh Does that count? Should I put a little more? I'll let you decide. Oh, I think I think that counts. Alright. Um <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, my hands are shaking. The so rim much. the rim is just barely floating. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, I think it's gonna be me, folks. Oh okay. sink it. 
Oh, God. Sink it. Sink it. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Gosh, you just added a lot. <laughs> right. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> How is this possible? Yes. Oh, my God. It's barely above surface. The, you can just see the rim. Oh? Oh, no. It's going to be... It's going to be mine. Get in there. Get in there. Time is of the essence. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think I can do anymore. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> if you were just here to see how our hands just trembling with each pour. <laughs> oh, oh God. gosh. Just, it's come to a trickle. Yeah, my hands are, I like, I can't stop shaking. It's scary. Oh, you just poured it directly into the beer. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. How is that still floating? How, it's almost halfway like, yeah, I mean, full. I mean, it is, that's insane. The carbon's keeping it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, no way. Yes. That is a resilient cup. Oh man. No way, dude. I, I have to admit, I did test this earlier with water. Yeah. It did not float as well in water. It's definitely floating a lot better in beer. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's still up. Yeah, it is it is over halfway full now. This is this is surprising to both of us here. Oh yeah. Still Dude, going, man. Still this going. This is crazy. This is crazy game. This is Ooh Did I actually get any in the cup? I think you did. Can we keep going? Mm. Oh man. Oh man. Sink. Sink. Oh gosh. How are you still? <laughs> Come on, baby. Put some concrete in that, son. Dang it. Dang I, it. It's still afloat, man. Yeah, and it looks like it's about. I mean, the, it might be a little over halfway. The lip is just barely over the b beer. Uh, I know. Like, any second now, beer's just gonna flow in. The dam's gonna break. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, come no. on. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Little Jim? Come on now, Jimmy. Come on now, Jimmy. Oh, yes! oh no! Yes! Oh, it was just enough. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it, I only got a few just, drops just in. Just a drop. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, well, cheers. Bottoms up, my friend. <laughs> I will say that this. This is a fun game. I like this game. This is a game that I would want to play again. Yeah, we can definitely. It's, this is good. Yeah, absolutely. Time for game number three. This is the the number game. The Chi It's a Chinese number game. All right. Numbers and, and uh, alcohol. That's right. And this time, <laughs> no sake, only beer. Only beer. All right. Only so we beer. can we can we can cap this we can guy. cap that boy off. Let me let me put let me put him to the side. There we go. He'll come back for later games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this game's really easy. All you need is your hands. Just your hands. Yep. All right. I'm ready. All right. Got so it. they're still they're all here. All the boys are here. You gotta hold up a number. Okay. On when I it's gonna we're gonna do one two three shoot. Okay. 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 And uh, you're gonna hold up a number and say a different number. You're gonna say what you think the sum of the two numbers that we hold up is gonna be. Oh man. Okay. So it's, it can be anywhere from like two to twenty. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. And you can be a little tricky about it, like hold up one finger and be like seven, you know? Yeah. Or just yeah. like go ten, all in. And uh, what we're gonna play, since it's just the two of us, yeah, to make sure that somebody drinks every time, because I think normally you play 
and uh, it's the person that goes is either equal to or goes higher than number wins. And if you go okay. lower than the number, you have to drink every time. Okay. But in this one, I think we should go whoever's closest. Closest to the, to the number wins or has to drink. Close to the number wins. Person that's further away has to drink. All right. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good to All right. me. Okay. So on go. All right. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, nine. Thirteen. Eleven. So, not We both a... drink? Yeah, we both, we both, we both drink. drink. All right. <laughs> if we played the game for real, I would drink, or you would drink and I would not. Or I'm sorry, I would drink You would drink because it's lower, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, one more time. One more yeah, time. Let's do it. Go. All right. One, two, three, fifteen. Five. I, don't, I said five and I put six. <laughs> I said 16. 15, 16. 16 That's so. you, man. That's you. I, was, <laughs> I meant to put up just one, and then I, I put up one, and then I also put you up said, five. Because you said five? And so then I was like, like five. I was, I was like, five. five. And I was going to do one. <laughs> but I was thinking five on my other hand. So I put up six. So I was already wrong. All right. <laughs> Take a drink. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Woo. Let's, let's do one more. Let's, let's do, do one, one. Let's do one more round. One last, All right. one last round. <laughs> Make sure that my mind and body connect on this one. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, ten. seven. Oh, you got seven, it. baby. You got it on the dot, man. Seven. Nice. All right. Nice. I, think I, re to that. I think I redeemed myself a little bit on that one. Oh, man. Good game. It was Good well game. done. These are these are all really enjoyable games. Yeah, we'll have I, to do some more. For uh, I'm still I'm a big fan of Titanic. I like the in like the intensity of it. It just like it's like everything's on the line because you want to put as much as you can in there to get it close, but, but then, you don't like, sink it. You realize like once it's just almost there how cautiously you're pouring it oh yeah and you, then your hands are like Dude, this the pressure's number. on and then you end up pouring like half of it into just the beer itself <laughs> <laughs> yeah i could taste the sake in the beer yeah. like it was it was pretty clear that we put sake we put in it the in beer. there <laughs> yeah all right man we gotta rate this beer all right so let's i'm gonna i'm gonna go one more sip on it even though we've been sipping on it already see i think it's really good for malt but I don't think malt's like a great style. I agree. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not crazy about malts either. I mean, I think it's all right. I think it's refreshing. Um, I like it'd be good on a, like a hot day. Yeah, definitely. But but I I feel the same way. Like it's some, way better than going like with the cheap malts. Of course. Yeah, like, I, I think. And all I, that good I think stuff. as far as it being quality malt, it's good. But as far as my personal preference goes, I'd probably give it like a. 2.75 2.75 i'm i'm in the same because i think it's a good like malt but overall beer quality i think it's just average yeah so i'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of five that sounds fair yeah. that sounds good all right thank you guys so much for joining us in our uh beer game adventure our beer tour of the world yeah let us know in the comments <laughs> below if you want us to look up uh games, games from other, from other countries, countries or yeah. if you know one let us know in the comments below, and maybe we'll play it on a future yeah, episode. Yeah, we'll bring it up. It'd be a good time. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do best, and we'll see you guys again in the next one. Later. Later.